So, um, Beyonce has a new song featuring Asad Khaled. Um, it's called Top Off. Um, that is not. What? It's not. It's not Beyonce's song. Oh, it isn't? No, that's DJ Khaled's song. Oh, yes. Yeah. So, it's Asad's, technically, it's Asad oh, featuring shut me up. Beyonce. Um, Assad is just out here executive producing hits. He's been, you know, given the approval by Beyonce. So I'm proud of both of them. What a nugget. It's really, you know, I like what she did with the song. I mean, I listened to it only for Beyonce's part. She's the only person on the song. Oh, okay. And (laughs) I don't know if you're being serious right now or not because you got a totally straight face. Uh, But I only went back to listen to it for Beyonce's part and to try to see if I could hear the Tiffany that I heard it. I did too. Once I I put my headphones on and like turned it up a little bit, I said, oh shit, it is. Like a few seconds after she gets done, you hear Tiffany. You know, one of them isolated it. So I don't remember what Alex played it for me. That's how I heard it for the first time. And at first I thought that somebody just stuck that in there somehow. Mm-hmm. I was like, maybe she met New York before and we didn't, you know, they found unreleased I mean, footage. it is viable, yes. I, it just possible. sounded so off. But then, you know, she got that new, <coughs> Alice got a new truck. So she played play that bass and like, you turned go. it up real, real loud. Oh, yes. And I was like, holy shit, it's really in there. It is. And if I were Tiffany Haddish, I would have been incredibly honored and I think she was uh, she said I love her part I completely <laughs> related to it and I was signing a non-disclosure for Beyonce any day that's literally what she said on Twitter yeah but I think that was before she realized that her name was in it and even after she figured that I out she was she like give this is, no she was like this is everything what Beyonce said my name y'all can't talk to me shut the fuck up like, that's the same way I would take it like hell fucking yes Beyonce said my name and was talking about me and everybody knows it on a song. Bitch, please. You hoes couldn't tell me shit. I'm loving everything about Tiffany. The fact that she wore that white dress again on stage at the Oscars. Her bit with Maya Rudolph was so funny. It was the only one that actually it made was me laugh. so funny. Like, Don't fret. I know you've seen a lot of people of color tonight, but everybody white still running this shit. Do not worry. Like that. that I wouldn't be surprised if they wrote that backstage time. Because in comparison to like all of the other bits. Right. Right. Or maybe it's because they're actually comedians. I don't know. Right. But their shit was funny. Some of it was so awkward. Oh, Some but of it them were t- always is. Every year. Every, every year. It doesn't matter what show. Right. Whatever. I would prefer that if they are not comedians, that they just walk out and say, hello, right. my name is Blake Lively or whatever. Mm-hmm. These are the nominees for. Right. Or at least two people who have chemistry. They be putting two randos, it seems, they together. Just met right. And they're like, ago. I'm going to read the prompter and then you're going to read the prompter. Like, that is trash. <laughs> the two Two of them did a great job with that. Like she was like, my pinky toe fell off and had like a little. Oh yes, girl, fake me too, girl. Toe. That was funny. <laughs> Shout out to them. Yes, and her hopping over the rope at the carpet to go talk to Meryl Streep. That's some shit I would have done. Tiffany Haddish is like aggressively a regular person. Yeah, <laughs> yes, and she's still very much like, bitch, what, Jay Z, Meryl Streep, holy shit! Like she's excited, and she really she saw Meryl, and it was like instantly in her head a switch. Like, I am crossing whatever I have to cross in order to go tell Meryl Streep that I love her and have stand my entire life. Like, it's going to happen. It's, right. Like, it you happens. out here representing the rest of us. Because that's some shit the A rest of like us A bitch like me would have been scared. Not <laughs> Tiffany Haddish. And Meryl so was salute. just like... Like, hey, bitch! Hey, girl. Oh, hey, yes. Loved Girl Streep. Did you see her put her hands... Did you see Tiffany put her hands on her hips like, bitch, I've been waiting for you all day? <laughs> Like her little stance yes. was like, now, like, now bitch. Miss Meryl, you know how much I love you. And did it again on stage. Like Tiffany Haddish, perfect. Don't don't talk to me. I mean, if it were her. me though that Beyonce was talking about, I would have leapt off the top of that building like the beginning of Lemonade. No, what? <laughs> I wouldn't have because she was still invited to the Oscar after party. It's not like Beyonce was shunning Tiffany or like blacklisting her or something like that. In that case, I would have done the Lemonade Swan Dive I can't from believe a that window. Tiffany felt so comfortable telling that story though. <laughs> Nobody can She probably wasn't it. thinking anything of it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but it was like, probably one, it was like on countless headlines for like the next week right. straight. And she was like, and oh, she was my like God. oh, maybe what I should have said that. did I do? That. <laughs> <laughs> I girl, you know, don't nobody talk about the experiences with Beyonce. Nobody does that. Because it's just, we know how she is about her privacy. 
By the time I meet Beyonce, she's just not even going. She's just going to have holograms sent out in her place. Like I won't even get a picture. Probably so. The fact that it wasn't no pictures of her from Oscars night, or at least I haven't seen any. I'm I just seen like, one. God damn. I'm she's telling you, not playing with y'all. They don't even have like you. Probably just leave your phone in a bucket at the front of whatever they throw. Mm, you know what? That makes sense. And the only pictures are taken by official photographers, and, and they blue. know good and damn. <laughs> okay, and blue. You know, Blue Ivy is the only one in there with a phone <laughs> and like Solange. <laughs> And taking pictures all night. Blue Selfies. Ivy and Solange being the only people at the party with phones, though. Yes. <laughs> Blue like, can you take my picture? Oh, no, you can't. Anyway, sorry. Here, use my phone. <laughs> what is wrong with you? Oh, also, there You're have dumb. been rumors. Y'all woke me up out of my damn sleep talking about On the Run 2. Um, oh, Lord. So Beyonce's Facebook page apparently uploaded something about an On the Run 2 concert. Mm. And y'all were filling our mentions with terror. Very, and, very excited. Um, you know, I don't wake up until seven o'clock in the afternoon, evening. So, afternoon. Yeah, that's my afternoon. <laughs> it is your afternoon. At seven o'clock, I'm starting to wind down. So, no, I, I think I got up at like maybe. I feel one. like you get up around two. Yeah, okay. one two. Yeah, somewhere around there. Um, and so I was just scrolling like the app on my phone will like stop at like the last mention or whatever that I looked at. Mm-hmm. So I'm scrolling up. I'm looking at all of these people freaking out. Oh my gosh. I don't know to have my coins together yet. I didn't listen. Oh my goodness. And I'm just waiting for the message that says this is not happening at all. And then eventually, Oh my gosh, it's, it's, it's gone. It's all right. Deleted. They do, it's mm-hmm. not there anymore. Um, okay. Let's right. All come down. So now I'm reading sources have told billboard that there actually isn't on the run to, tour happening this summer um <sighs> uh these i guess are sources from Ticketmaster and live nation I don't yeah know. i saw the the Ticketmaster. i saw it on Ticketmaster. i saw the beyonce thing so i assumed it was real but it was not supposed to be published at that time i assumed that but, um billboard says that a lot of coachella x are required to hold off on announcing their own tour until after the festival. Mm. Which, um, when I last saw Alex, the same time that we listened to the song together, I said, I feel like Coachella is going to be when she kicks off the new era. Like, I don't even feel yeah, like... Yeah, that makes sense. I don't feel like, you know, new album, the day of or whatever. Maybe like a new song, you know, but I feel like she's going to give Medley really sickening performance at Coachella and then maybe like... Right after Coachella, she'll be like, so mm-hmm. give me your money. We're, I'm going back on the road. And you already knew this. You saw my braids. You <laughs> saw my MacBook. I don't even know why you're acting shocked. Right. Um, but yeah, I didn't expect to hear anything before that also. So I did expect, whether or not it was real, that it wasn't the moment. Right. So whoever did that, and the fact that it was a different platforms, like it, I feel like it's... Somewhere higher up, things got fucked up. I don't really know. Yeah, somebody lost their job. The issue that right. I don't, I don't know what don't happened, know. but it was clearly some mistake. I just hope now y'all understand the importance of saving your money. Five dollars every pay period or whatever. If you have to, just waiting on Beyonce to make her retire because you never know with this bitch. If you're serious about it, right? If you if you're if every year or every other year you're like, oh, I can't believe that like I can't get the tickets I want to Beyonce or I can't you know see this and this and this or whatever else like it's time to just start putting a little bit to the we side talked about this right whenever you can because this bitch sneaks up out of nowhere and it's like a uh, album and then 30 seconds later a uh, tour and that's that now as far as on the run too i can't say that i am dying to go but there is no way that i cannot go so i'm just i'm waiting for her to for the tickets to be on sale for real Beyonce is getting my money and my uh, attendance, regardless of, of whatever else anything. is going on. Right. Um, you know, luckily for me as a Beyonce fan, she's married to Jay Z. You know, she didn't marry Not a bad artist. Uh, G Easy or fucking I don't little Zan or I don't know. But, you know, like right. right, Jay Z. Somebody I can't stand. I love Jay Z as a rapper. I love Jay Z as a rapper too. Lots of he's got a great catalog and things of that nature as well. So if there is a rapper or another artist that's gonna be on stage with Beyonce for a whole two hours, two and a half, three hours or whatever fine with that bring your husband along with you girl i'm coming regardless right so i'm coming I'm, even if he's there <laughs> on the run it, right. on the walk on the jog on the <laughs> skit i don't care what you call it beyonce's there i'm coming so mm-hmm. 
And she knows that. She does. She don't care if we still mad at Jay-Z. We're going to be there anyway. So, <laughs> you bitches, y'all can complain all you want to. When them tickets go on sale, you going to be refreshing like crazy. And in the group chats trying to see who got their money together for real and all this other shit. Because you going to see. I'm not going to miss Beyonce. I'm just not. I'm not. Somebody was like, what if she brings Chris Brown with her? Would you go see Beyonce and Chris Brown? Bitch, hell yes. Duh. Beyonce and anybody. I'm going to the show. I am. Beyonce is not going to do me wrong. She's Beyonce not going to fail me. Beyonce Taylor Swift. Beyonce, like I just said, see, I knew the devil would <laughs> would pop up and say something crazy like that. Beyonce would never tour with that demon. That would not happen. She never would. What it would never did? be that bad. Would you go if she did? It would not, I don't, it's not, it isn't possible. It's like would touring with a car dad. Okay. If she did. Yes, but I would actively ignore Taylor Swift on stage. That's the proper answer. You win. <laughs> like, <don't. laughs> I can't say that I'm not going to go because, bitch, I'm going to Everybody go. knows how I feel about her. And I'm still going to be there. I'm just going to sit the fuck down when she come out. But I'm going to be, be mad at my myself for actually, like, directly giving Taylor Swift money. I will be upset with myself for that. I will be more upset with the universe for creating a situation like that. Because I can't really be upset at Beyonce. I refuse. And, you know, Mm-mm. I'm just, you know, it is what it is. If that were a, a, a horrible but that's, Like I said, this is never going to happen. Maybe in an alternate another universe. Another place, another time. Right. Another world. Time and space, is it's expansive. Another life. Maybe in an alternate, or a parallel reality, right. that would happen. Right. And in that parallel reality, that me is at that concert. <laughs> and just know that typically at a Beyonce concert, you got to take your pictures and you got to like, you know, do your whole videos and stuff like that. And you don't really get to upload a lot of it until after unless you want to be dumb and miss it or watch the whole concert through your phone. Right. So, Which if, a lot of people end up doing. Which a lot of people end up doing. Which is like, why didn't you just wait for a DVD or a stream? Or, you are the DVD. Right. Like, <laughs> you are the stream. I mean, if Beyonce and Taylor Swift are performing together, that means Ugh. I get breaks Ugh. to upload the Beyonce part. That's true. Because when I tell you, like, it's not like with Jay-Z where I still know the overwhelming majority of Jay-Z songs mm-hmm. and like them and can rap along with him right. and can still enjoy right. him. It's like Taylor Swift has some bops that I acknowledge and aren't terrible, but I do not want to see her. I'm not tapping do my toe. Anything. The just the idea of Beyonce dancing on a stage and then Taylor Swift dancing on that same stage is fucking laughable. It's ridiculous. Who the fuck? And imagine going to a Beyonce concert and having to sit next to Taylor Swift fans. Look at look at this. Oh no. This is awful what you've done. <laughs> she would never. I'm just, you know, this is about a test of Beyonce loyalty and and, and strength and passion. And I've given Beyonce so much money over the years. Probably more than I've given my mama. <laughs> Definitely more than I've given sad. my mama. <laughs> but I'm just saying, she knows like, like the loyalty with me, it runs deep. I'm gonna go. Even if you bring your husband or whoever else on stage with you, simply because Beyonce has never, ever, ever given me a bad live performance. I've never been to I a bad Beyonce one. concert ever. So I'm going. I am. And even on stage, like you said, I enjoy Jay Z. I can rap along to a lot of his music. I'll definitely throw up the rock. Yeah. Um, and I had a great time at the first on the run. <sighs> However, for many of those moments where Jay-Z is performing, she'll be right there dancing her motherfucking ass off yep. too. So really, it's like you're getting Beyonce performing to a Jay-Z concert. Mm-hmm. True. When That's she's true. not performing her own stuff. Like, it's just, it works. It does work. So... So I'll be there. I, you know. But I do not want to hear him perform songs off of 444, especially the title track, or anything that references how he stressed my queen out to the point of miscarrying several times. Like That's just going to renew the anger that is under the surface currently for Jay-Z. You're going to have to let that go. <laughs> no, see, Beyonce let that go because that's her man, and right. they moved on in, in growth and therapy and healing, and that's all very right. nice. But as a fan who doesn't know them at all... And is 100% on the outside looking in. I'm still like, this nigga. You really decided to grow the fuck up at age 47 or whatever. Like, I'm st- I am still feel that way about him. And it is what it is. Quincy so- Jones still growing at 85. <laughs> <laughs> well, Quincy Jones is not. Well, never mind. Let, let me not. Because sh- I don't know Quincy Jones' stories. That was before my time. But yeah, I don't, I do not. As much as I love 444 as an album, I do not want to be reminded of what he did. 
to Beyonce while at a Beyonce concert. Ugh. But uh, I'm going. I'm going. He's going to get booed. <laughs> you know, some of them are petty. <laughs> I hope she tells him when they're driving up in the golf cart. You know that. You, you know, know the hive will boo. They're going to boo you. She's like, not going to have a pit. <laughs> at least one show <laughs> on Niggas in the pit are going to throw things. <laughs> someone's, they're going to boo you. Like, someone's going to do it. A big enough crowd to where you can hear it. Yeah. Not everybody. Not even close to everybody. And it's only going to take one drunk, it's be really that one section. raging fan to get the booth started. <laughs> and insane. then you're going to hear like, oh, Section A13, you know, they're over there with that bullshit. Uh, yeah. At at least one show, they're going to boo Jay-Z. Mm-hmm. Even though the family clearly is fine. Right. Even though they have moved <laughs> on and everything's okay. going great over there. And Sir and Rumi are here and everybody's having a good time. We're still mad. So... <laughs> She, I mean, but he has to know this. He has wait. to know this. I feel pictures coming. Yeah, you know that bitch loves to give us family movies and at shit the at show. the shows, mm-hmm. right? Ugh. Maybe even Coachella will get like a little, you know, an eyebrow just right. to show you that the BNC gene is still there. I'm wondering if she's gonna do it like she did with the Super Bowl, how she had the formation performance and then Lemonade came out later. I wonder if Coachella is gonna be like a tease of the new stuff, or are we just getting like? Well, I you know no, it you can't, can't be all guess new. with her. Well, you can't it's guess. It's, all, it's impossible. She could put out. A, uh, she could drop an album on Friday, and That's all of saying. this would be void. So she could like have a feature length film just pop up in theaters, starring Kerry Washington and Viola Davis, and like. I don't know when Miss Field is playing her mama. I really she don't could. know. Like, it, that, she might be working on that right the fuck right now. now. They probably we would just, never know. Like who <laughs> fucking knows? If I had to guess, though, I would say like Coachella. Like right after Coachella, she's going to announce something. I would guess tour mm-hmm. or a release or like it'll be like a song or something when like that. I don't feel like a full. I think it's next month, isn't it? April. Or, yeah. Oh, that is next month. Wow. So. I feel like a full album is not going to be happening during Coachella, but Coachella will end with an announcement of some sort, and my guess is a tour. Yeah, I agree. That's probably true. So, But them braids were in late last year. Mm-hmm. That For MacBook was out last yep. year. Yep. The Queen has recorded one of her best in two weeks. So, hmm. I mean, just saying. like, <laughs> I'm always ready. I'm, I feel like every day I wake up... With the full expectation that Beyonce might fuck up my life that day. Because she, you just never know. She's so I'm just always prepared. Not unlike the storm outside right now. Oh. <laughs> Comes when you least expect right. it, and you just have to deal. Seemed a little bit innocent at first. Like, not going to be so bad. Oh, is this overrated? Maybe it is. And then it swoops in on your ass like, bitch, overrated where? I just can't fuck wait. you and your family too. I just can't wait. Yep. Whatever she's going to give us, I'm ready for. 